Welcome back to the show. Today, we're talking startups in healthcare. One of the biggest pain points these startups are looking to solve is convenience and ease of access to healthcare. Here's a look at a few services startups that have changed the way both doctors and patients view healthcare. Healthcare is the new buzzword for startups in the country. While Indians have managed it all, from doubling life expectancies to eradicating polio, there have been few pioneering initiatives in the field of healthcare itself, especially when it comes to convenience and access. While many see this as a problem too deep entrenched to overcome, an enterprising lot view this to be a multi-billion dollar opportunity. We were looking at what are the other big uh, problems in India or big uh, opportunities in India. If you look at the other side of a problem, it's an opportunity. What are the big opportunity areas and problem areas that India needs solutions to? And clearly, it is always in India the basics that need to be put in place, whether it's education, health care, <coughs> um, uh, food, infrastructure. These are the areas. There's a lot of opportunities there. So we felt that healthcare was a great area that a lot of impactful changes could be brought about. Now, when we studied that and uh, we uh, looked at the, the large hospital chains and the corporate hospitals, we felt that that seems to be there are a lot of good players doing great work. There's a great opportunity to make a difference in the quality of life of people by building uh, home health care. How big is the pie for these Indian startups eyeing health care? According to industry estimates, the size of the Indian healthcare industry is over 2,75,000 crore. With over 50,000 hospitals, clinics and wellness centres in the country, the field is wide open for services startups. Sector startups are looking at ERP and CRM solutions, patient records management, telemedicine, security and surveillance. Clearly, it's all a matter of perspective and Potia Medicals is making the most of it. What do they do? Soumya Sahus is a good example of tech changing how we access healthcare. The 35-year-old is a client servicing executive at Nielsen with one big occupational hazard. A job that requires him to sit for long hours in front of a computer, resulting in a condition called cervical spondylosis. Physiotherapy at that point of time, because the doctors, they gave me medicines, but it was mostly painkillers at that point of time. And painkillers or any of those treatments will never be a long-term treatment for this. I think exercises, physiotherapy, uh, to some extent, yes, natural uh, um, medication as well. Um, but yes, I think, I think the quick relief uh, would be through physiotherapy and exercises at that point of time. So I did some secondary reading at my end and uh, I, I also did see that uh, Portia has this uh, recommendation of so many patient, patients over a period of time. So that, that also did uh, uh, reinforce me to go for this treatment. Hello, good afternoon. This is Amreen here calling from Portia Medical Case Services. So you have recently registered on our website for a physiotherapy treatment. It's for your father. So, I know what is the medical problem he's facing me. And from the second visit onwards, treatment will be started as per the assessment. This is where Potia Medical stepped in. The barely year old startup provides a network of doctors, clinicians, nursing, and physiotherapists who go to patients' homes to give them treatment. Started by serial entrepreneurs K. Ganesh and Meena Ganesh. Potia Medicals has used the idea of age-old doctors on call at homes with a tech twist. We are not just looking at providing on-call doctors. This is a whole uh, gamut of services, an entire platform of services that people need, which is apart from just doctors alone. Doctors is a small part of the whole set of services that we provide. So everything that they need for recovery, for day-to-day -day management, for rehabilitation, so that they can live a comfortable life when a customer says that they want a particular kind of service in a particular part of the city, our system will be able to uh, immediately prompt as to who is the most appropriate person who can go to their home and provide this service. How do we do that? Because every one of our clinicians carry a smartphone, which is GPS enabled, from which we know what their schedule are, what is their schedule, where are they based, how many services are they providing in a day, where are they at any point in time, all of this information is centrally available. So our central team is able to then find the most appropriate person that we can schedule. So th there are two benefits here. One, the customer gets somebody who is local. Two, the, the professional who is out on the field ends up servicing 
customers within a certain small geolocation. The other very important part is that when they go visit a customer or visit a patient and carry out a procedure, from a medical perspective, we need to ensure that they are following the protocols that we have set for that particular procedure. Those protocols are available for them on that smartphone. Those protocols are what they follow and they from there can upload in whatever data that they need to capture about the patient. Something like Uber for the doctor and clinician network, Potea Medical's device alerts and checks the schedules of the home healthcare providers in the area from which the patient has made the request. And Potea's staff who takes the call assigns them to the patient. Once assigned, the patients can avail of the particular services on a pay-as-you-go or a subscription-based service for a fixed period. Apart from assigning the specialists to the patients, Potia also provides the necessary diagnostic equipment and other medical equipment needed to take care of the patient. Your need can be as simple as a physiotherapy session or as intricate as post-surgical care. Potia employs specialists within its payrolls for the services. All the specialists have a minimum MBBS certification to their names. Patients and relatives of patients can also access medical health records and diagnostics using the service. And it's not just the patients who are benefiting from Potia Medical's network. As a physiotherapist, I think the most important thing that I get in Portia, which I wouldn't get in a typical hospital setup, is the autonomy to make my own decisions. Uh, I go there as an independent medical professional, which is what every physiotherapist is. I have the full authority to assess, examine, diagnose a patient and also decide my own treatment. Now that being said, it's not like everyone is an independent practitioner. We all come in because we send our case files to our SMEs our subject matter experts who review it and guide all the physiotherapists, make sure that all the treatment that is happening is firstly correct, secondly, a step further than what an independent practitioner would do. The Potia network is also being increasingly preferred by those wanting to increase their independent practices as medical specialists. Younger medical specialists like Ronam with over five years of experience in the field have never really had a chance or have gotten full autonomy in dealing with patients. To them, a service like Potea provides a new lease of life. Where experience is concerned, I think uh, it's like throwing someone into a lion's den, right? You learn much quicker on your feet. If you are always with people who are older, who are more senior, who are dictating your treatment, you'd obviously grow at a slower rate than when you're put in a situation where you have to make certain decisions. You always have the knowledge that there is someone to take care of your questions, to take care of your doubts, to help you out, also to help out your patients. When required, a senior person will come in and give a second opinion. But at the same time, Time, the decision and hence the responsibility lies with you. So if you want to avoid the hassle of going to a hospital and standing in huge queues, then Potea is the way to go for you. But what if you just want to book an appointment and go meet your neighborhood doctor or are a doctor who wants to manage his clinic? There's something for you too, Practo. In 2009, we were eight employees. Today we have 500 employees. In 2009, we had about one lakh per month. In 2014, we're going to close 20 CR in revenues. In 2009, we had around 100 doctors. Today, we have 100,000 doctors. We were 22 years old and we started in a 3 BHK apartment in Bangalore. Today, I'm 27 years old. We have 15 offices in India and one in Singapore. This is Practo's office in Bangalore. I'm Bharat here, calling from Practo.com. Ma'am, a patient needs an appointment uh, with Dr. Shilpa for today at 2.30 p.m. With an average of 500 calls a day being received by their team, Practos is a busy workspace. What does the startup do? Theirs is a solution for people with ailments looking to find a doctor or physician but can somehow never find those qualified within their locality. We started off in 2008 in our final year of college. That's when I discovered the importance of healthcare records and digital healthcare records and having them accessible by the, by the patient and what was blocking it. The blockage was the software. So we went about building a software called PractoRay. This software was uh, launched in 2009, um, and very quickly it, it, became, um, it became viral. Um, <coughs> we used a lot of new technology that, that, at that time. We launched it in a SaaS model, which is called a software as a service model. So it was an online software. So we were one of the first companies to launch an online software in India, and that too for doctors. So that took off very fast uh, among doctors, and doctors started using the software to take care of their um, uh, patients better. Uh, we were then, uh, after two years of doing the software, we then launched the website, practo.com, 
to help patients not, uh, not find doctors and book appointments. So how exactly does Practo function? Practo's platform essentially brings on board doctors from various fields onto it. Patients looking for specialist doctors can find them on the Practo platform with complete details including consultation fees, timings and clinic photos. Once the patients find the doctor they are looking for, Practo connects the two and helps fix appointments. Started by two engineering graduates, Shashank Endi and Abhinav Lal, the startup has had its roots in a personal story. Abhinav, uh, my co-founder, and me were uh, students at NITK Surat in our final year. Uh, that's when this idea hit upon us. Um, uh, when my father was undergoing a knee operation, um, he was, I required to transfer his records to a doctor in the US for second opinion. It was a harrowing experience for me because you had to take the photographs of these records and send it to the doctor in the US. I, that's when I asked myself a question that if these records are so important, why aren't they in digital format that can actually be stored, retrieved whenever required and also shared whenever uh, to re relevant doctors. And when I went back to my doctor and asked him that can you give my father's report on a digital format, he complained that his, his software is not upgraded enough for him to do that and he didn't have an email button to email the record to the patient. Where does Practo get this list of doctors from? Well, the startup employs a strong network of data collectors who manually visit different localities in different cities and check for clinicians in different areas. Once the data is collected, it is then fed back into their systems where the qualifications, check and the doctor lists are sorted out. Apart from helping patients, Practos is also a major clinic facing player. While listing is free for doctors and appointment fixing is free for patients, they also have a paid product. Doctors themselves can access Practos services using their flagship practice management software, Practoray. The Practoray software helps doctors on board the Practo platform manage different aspects of patient and practice management, be it fixing appointments, maintaining patient records, managing patient calls and even payment related services. Practory has two plans for doctors to pick from. Those were two hot healthcare startups from Bangalore helping make systems and processes easier in the field of medicine. That's all we have for you on the show today. Thanks for watching.